Good morning students. Welcome to Leela's tutorial. So today we'll discuss about the cattle as a model organism. So in previous class we have discussed about the model organisms. Why they are used? They are used in order to test for the uh, toxicity or the drug testing or for the research purpose. So what we are going to do in the research? We are going to test the uh, disease causing genes and how the drugs are acting on them and how the cells are responding to the pharmacy or the responding to the medicines right so in spite of having our cell lines why we have to use these animals so cell lines already i we have discussed that cell lines are the cells which are produced directly by culturing the organs of certain animals right so the primary cell lines or the secondary cell lines can be used for drug testing right and also for the toxicity testing so in spite of having cell lines we are using these animals as the model organisms because the cells when you are testing some chemical on this cell the cell will respond only to its uh, space that is if you are testing on the cell the cell will reflect the result if it is an organ on it but when the medicine is given to the human not only the cells tissues or the organs but complete body is responding right so in order to check that one after testing on the cell lines we go for these model animals where the drug will be tested to the cells tissues and organs and a complete complex body system will be involved in responding to that particular drug right so here in the research they are making use of small animals whose lifespan is less right the so that they can study the complete life and also whose genetic and physiological similarities are more to the humans right so here in spite of uh, using cell lines and zebra fish as a model organism they are making use of cattle as model organism though their life span is more right so let us see why they are used so here the cattle means here all domestic hoofed animals are used for preclinical and translational research so here preclinical and translation means here you are going to test the drug on the animal before you are testing on the human volunteers so that is called as preclinical research right before testing on the human volunteers you are going to test on the huge or these hooved animals right then after preclinical research there is an translational research so here translational research is carried on by the clinicians that is doctors then lab researchers and also pharmaceutical industry so all these three people combine and perform this translational research right then after that success only they'll be releasing that particular uh, drug into the market right or to the human volunteers then only after human volunteer testing they'll release that into the market so let us see by using this cattle as a model organism what all research has been done in the past in the present and also in the future right let us discuss about the past in the past they were using cows for producing smallpox vaccine right then the cows and pigs were used for heart valve transplantation the heart valves from the cows and pigs were taken and they were transplanted into the human then next they were using pig and sheep hypothalamus so hypothalamus was extracted and then they were studying about thyroid stimulating hormone and gonadotropin releasing hormones right this was uh, the research which was done on animals in order to check these or in order to produce these vaccines or the research right then in the present now the sheep are used for osteoporosis the fragileness of the bones the research is on the bones the sheep are also used in order to transplant the bones that is orthopedic implants are also done by using the sheep as animal model 
then another model organism is pigs so in pigs they are testing the stem cells right they are testing the stem cells in order to treat the spinal cord injuries okay then in case of horses so here in the horses they are researching or they are doing research on fertility problems right so horses lifespan is more than 30 years right so more than 30 years means the follicle uh, follicles which are formed or follicle stimulating hormones are more or less similar to the humans right so even when the fertility problems occur in the female when it is above 30 or 35 years right the ovulation may not be proper due to lack of follicle stimulating hormones right so here they are doing research on these female horses for the fertility so they are checking for the follicle stimulating hormone produced as the age is increasing right what is the uh, quality of the egg they are producing and how that can be improved that is the research going on on horses then you have baboons right so these primate animals are also used when they are in groups right or they are used for studying the behavior and the social processes right then these are the present research which is undergoing using cattle as model organisms then in the future what they are doing right so in future you are going to get these vaccines or the medicines so in the future they are taking the databases they are using the bioinformatics in order to go for or in order to improve the research right so they are using databases from the immune tissues and they are going to produce the medicine or the drug which is beneficial so first they have produced alpha 1 3 galactosyl transferase so this enzyme or this enzyme is mostly used in grafting so what is the use of this enzyme in grafting normally if it is a tissue grafting or a complete whole organ grafting there may be some issues such as organ rejection the organ rejection or graft rejection may be there due to the immune system due to their active immune system so that immune system can be suppressed by using this alpha 1 3 galactosyl transferase so by using this enzyme a complete organ can be transplanted without any rejection right immunal rejection then in future from the dogs they can produce the insulin then polio vaccine is produced from monkeys and rabies vaccine from the mouse then skin grafts and computer assisted tomography scanning is done using pigs then from the rabbits the eye or the corneal transplantation methods are developed then from the rats it is the carcinogen screening in case of cancer or the tumor patients right so all these researchers are going to be developed in future so why we are using the cattle as model organisms because their lifespan is very high so that they are matching with the human lifespan and also their immune system digestive system reproductive system everything is matching to the human so for the preclinical research we are using these animals and then after that the translational research is carried on then it is tested on the human volunteers then it is released into the market for the human welfare.